hello guys welcome back to this channel before we move on i'd like you to subscribe to this channel and tap on the notification button to get the access to all our videos we upload you get daily notifications as soon as we upload okay so in today's video we are going to look at how to design a simple flyer with only shapes and text yeah with only shapes and text so without wasting much time or without further ado i launch my photoshop app as usual okay i'll create a new file so i'll click on file then select new i'll use the inches okay with the width i'll be going with three okay and the height i am going with six okay six will be good and the resolution will be 300 I click on OK so this is the size of my work I can zoom it up a little bit I use control plus plus yes control plus plus to zoom it up and zoom it down control plus minus or you can come to windows here and click on navigator as it shows here then you can use it to zoom in or zoom out okay so this is perfect for me now as I said, we are going to use only text in this design. So I'll first create my first shape. That's a rectangle. Okay. I think this is okay. Yeah, this is okay. Let me give the background a different color, side the white. So I'll come down here. The options down here. I'll select this one. Okay, then I'll come to solid color. Okay, then I'll find a good color for it. Oh, the color is a bit thin. No, let me use this color for the top part rather. Okay, then let me leave the white there. That would be okay. So now I'll try and input maybe this flyer is going to be in the form of a business card to display my business info. Although the business cards don't take this form, but I want to make the flyer to come in this form to display my business info and stuff. Okay, so I'll create a part in the top part here where I'll display my name. I'll show my name. I'll use a circle for that. I'll like to type in the circle so that it will be very nice. So I'll create one perfect circle. I use sorry, I use the shift key so it's joined with the other circle. Okay, so I'll create one perfect circle here. Then I'll change the color to white okay now if you want your work to be centered or any object to be centered okay you click on the move to here okay then you press ctrl plus a to select all okay then you come up here you use this to what align it horizontally so it has aligned horizontally then I'll remove the selection with ctrl plus D okay now I don't want just my test to come up here like this it to be too plain so I will duplicate this circle okay then the second one that's the one down here I'll come to this circle again I'll come up here and I'll remove the fill okay then I'll give it a stroke a white stroke let's see about getting to two points will do okay now let me transform it so that it will come out of the other circle okay so this is okay now let me come up then i'll add the name i want to put up there so let's say divine tech hub right so divine sorry the fonts are too big so i'll select it Control a and i'll come to the font size here okay you can choose to choose any one of these or you come just next to it 
your arrow will change to two pointing arrows a horizontal one with two pointing arrows then you click and drag to the left side okay then it will be changing it for you okay so let me change the color to let's say this color okay, this color will do then I click on the check mark I use the move to to center it a bit move it down okay now I'm going to copy this test tool I'm going to duplicate it and move one downwards I hope you remember the duplicate control plus G okay so I'll select my test tool then I'll try and change this to tech hub okay sorry tech hub then I'll sorry for that I'll select everything and I'll reduce the font size again as I did earlier now it seems this is italized so this year is a panel for characters for you to change some features of your character and it seems the highlight button here has been selected that's why the fonts are in highlighted mode so i'll click on it to remove it and select okay okay the divine to let me remove the font so that the highlight is so that it will be much more clear for me okay so i have this here divine tech app right now i'll select from this to this sec okay and move it up a bit yes this is perfect now let's try and add another shape another circle tree i'll insert the core button in that circle too okay so let me create one circle to below here and go with this time let me brighten up the color a bit oh sorry this same color but let me brighten it up top okay then i come here i'll go to the custom shape too okay i'll find a call button or the phone symbol i think this is it but well, i'll go with this one i'll use a telephone okay then i will draw inside this circle and change the color to white okay now i'll select these two shifts okay then select my move tool and align it horizontally do you get it okay now after doing this let me try and add my phone number at the down part okay so let's see my phone number is plus two three three sorry five five i'm using my own phone number okay so if you want to consult me for anything you can just contact me on this phone number okay so i'll use this phone number select the check mark i'll try and transform it down so i can either come to edit and select free transform here okay and i'll hold the shift key down whilst i move it in okay then i click on the check mark okay this is very good this is very good now i'll try and add some test about my business here okay, so that it will make up this business card or whatever we are doing okay so i'll first i don't even know what i should even type there okay i'll try and generate some test from microsoft word very quick and use it okay i don't want to type anything that will slow me down so let me quickly generate some tests from microsoft Word. don't worry we'll soon start tutorial on microsoft Word, and you see so many of these tricks okay okay so i'll just select any of these i think about these two paragraphs will do then i copy it 
okay then I come here and I click on paste okay I have to select all right so I'll select all I come up to my character panel here okay. we have this button here this allows you to change the um, the vertical space or the line spacing in your test okay so ringing it down is currently 44.76 so selecting 14 you see the line spacing has been decreased but we can still increase it a little bit now and we decrease the font size okay increase the font size a bit okay so here I'll be working mainly with the don't worry I try and adjust it perfectly for my okay now let me change the paragraph from here as well so I'll make the paragraph like this so that it will look neatly okay now with this test I'm going to make it black I'm not going to use this color or it will repeat itself too much so I'm making it black then I'll click on the check mark here okay now let me let me transform it with a free transform you can use the control plus T or you go to edit to access it okay then click on the check mark here now at the bottom the final thing I'm going to add is my email okay yeah let me add my email so that it will sum up what I'm doing this to remind you again this is not an original business card or anything okay this is just for tutorial sake so I'll come to my custom shapes once again I think I can use this message button here to represent an email right so I just click on it come down here and try to draw it okay I think this will be perfect with the color here yes then I'll add my email test next to it okay so my email crazy divine okay one five eight at gmail dot com okay so this is my email but this font is too bold let's try and see if we can get a very light one okay this is very good now we click on the check mark no it's too light <laughs> i'll use acrobat for this work this acrobat okay and regular let me use semi bold then the character spacing then I click on the check mark so I will try and center this one as well so I'll come to the move to control plus A then align horizontally sorry wow okay so it's horizontal in this form then I remove the selection let me transform this symbol to be a little bit smaller okay doesn't have to be the same size as the test okay so this is a simple business card we just did with basic shapes and what text now let's try to save this file so we come to file click on save as okay after clicking on save as you choose the destination I'll save this one on the desktop then I'll save it as a JPEG file okay I told you last time you save it as PSD so that you can go back and edit it whenever you want 
but to get it in a picture form you save it as jpeg okay let me make this tech hub okay then i click on save i use the maximum save okay then i click on okay so it's saving it's done i can go back to my desktop let me close this then i see my picture has appeared here okay so this is our final work of art how is it try and give your comments if anything that i could have done to make it better you try and tell me in the comment section this is just a simple work we did okay as you can see in the thumbnail you can try and do this you can also try it or you can check my instagram handle you see so many of my designs that you can also try and work with okay so i'll end today's video here thank you for watching this video to this part if you've been able to watch to the very end thank you and i hope you subscribe to my video please you can also share this video out to your friends i will leave the link in the comment section if you want to get it and share it to your friends please 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 i would really love it if you are able to share for me thank you once again and goodbye